This is going nowhere. Of course not. Have we ever agreed on anything before? True. I don't remember that ever happening either. Then that's it. I'll do whatever I please. No, you won't. That's why I'm here to negotiate. Hmm. What about a bet? A bet? Yes. It'll take a long while, but... as I would towards those kinds of people. You're pretty unforgiving. That's not true. I'm sure 80% of the people in the world would agree with me. And where are you getting this confidence from? Anyway, we better make her realize it. Yo, miss! than I expected. So why not? No matter how biased you are, I'm so much cuter. Okay, then go play with Chloe. I don't like her. She carries a very dark aura. So, I'm getting turned down by a muscle ball? Whoa! I'm getting dissed left and right! <sighs> Damn it, since you've been here, this workshop has been out of order! You made the girls go crazy! If only you weren't here. do anything to him, I'll kick you out of, of your own life. Whoa, she's serious. Ugh, they were all over me just a while ago. You can't compare that mana to a creepy, muscle-bound cosplayer. Ugh, and again! This place is so noisy. Chairwoman, and the principal. Hello. Excuse us for a moment. That's your mana? Let me take a look. Hey, be careful! <laughs> Is this really a mana? Are you sure it's not a baby monster? He's a mana! Give him back to me! 
Whatever. It's not like you're going to become a great alchemist with your grades. Huh? What do you mean by that? Now let's all calm down here. I'm sure she didn't mean anything. Or if she did, she did it calmly. Anyway, are there only two of you in this workshop? It's not just the two of them. There's three of us, including me. Well, the school rules call for at least five members for each workshop. If you can't get enough people, then just get out. Bye now. Oh, you don't have to be so harsh. Oh, chairwoman? What was all that about? She just came out of nowhere and dissed us. Yes, I'm sorry. It looks like she's in a bad mood. Could it be menopause? I can hear you, Mr. Principal. Uh, that was just a joke. That kind of attitude will not do you well in the long run. I know. I know it very well. <laughs> I think that took about ten years off my life. So did you guys just come here for that? Oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, that was half from being in a bad mood. Oh, but you should really consider getting more than just two people here. Otherwise, this place really will be taken away from you. I said three! What? Well, anyway, that's all. What is up with those people? Did they not see me because I'm so tiny and cute? They were totally ignoring your existence. I guess that's what we should have done. But what should we do about getting more members? I don't know. I don't have any friends. Well, I'm sure everything will work out eventually. It's not going to be that easy. We still need, like, three more people. Two more! Two more people! We might have to count them in if we can't get enough.
wonder if someone is fighting. for a while. Hey, Emma! Where are you? Gotcha! I knew it! I found you, Anna. How did you smell me? Are you really human? Make a mess in our workshop. Wait, aren't you Jerktown's friend? Oh, Ulrika, oh, right? Hello. Oh, hello. I mean, I mean, what are you doing here? I was chasing my brother. <laughs> Why are you always running away from me? Did you guys not get along? We do. Everyone thinks we're best friends. You're the only one who thinks that. Stop being delusional. Dull? <laughs> Don't use big words like that. Anyway, come to our workshop. No way. Never. Over my dead body. Jeez, you're so shy. You don't have to be so embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Oh, right. I can't anyway. I'm actually in these people's workshop already. What? When? Um, just a little while ago. So just let it go, okay? Just a little while ago? All right, I guess. So you're really gonna give up that easily? <laughs> he might cause trouble, but please take care of my brother. You can come to me whenever you feel lonely. Dummy, why would I do that? Um, Anna, don't you like your sister? Okay, you see? I came all the way to this school to get away from her. It's a long story. Anyway, sorry for the trouble. Pepperoni? You bet. Whoa! Who are you? Dressed all weird? You're in my way! Move! Where are you going, my brother? Aren't you a member of this workshop? Don't call me that. That was just to trick my stupid sis. I didn't think it would be that easy. I never thought. Yeah, right. I would never join a workshop with some creep like this. Nice to meet you, brother. Get away from me! <laughs> This is all because of my stupid sis!
They should know their place.
you're nothing to me. Trouble. Whoa! Ah! Huh? What is that? Looks like a puny. A puny? Don't you know? It's a type of monster. Uh oh, they don't look very scary. They're said to be weaker than stray cats. Pony, pony, pony. Hmm, I'm not sure. Pony, pony. Maybe you should ask someone else. He was pretty gentlemanly like. Gentlemanly like? Was he really saying something? Well, yeah. But that thing was just going... Pony pony. <gasps> what did you just say? Huh? What? Am I wrong? I see. You must be a sufferer of congenital pony aphasic disorder. Ew! When did you get here? Don't come to class. People will start to look at us funny. Oh, don't say that. I sensed your danger, so I came to help. So, what the hell is that poony something disorder thing? It's a disorder you were born with, in which you can't understand poonies. It's common among unintelligent people. I see. Well, that's too bad. Why are you so convinced? 
Oh, come on. It's not like you have to understand poonies to live. You just won't be able to get poonie-related jobs. Huh. I feel like such a loser. There aren't really any poonie-related jobs anyway.